Hi, and welcome to Nuclear Dawn Help 104. This is going to be part two uh, for the Empire. So starting out, you'll see that I'm Empire. We're going to start by talking about the strategy that we're going to use on the ground level. You really don't have much of an option. You're going to have to build a relay tower that's going to extend reach out here in the middle, right about there. Uh, this is going to be a risky strategy. We're going to actually come straight up here right away uh, up the left. This is a good spot for a power generator. Then we're going to come straight down this hallway. Perhaps put a spawn right there and some supplies and then from that corner we'll probably try to put some more rocket turrets and things right around right around about I'm standing now there's going to be uh, some problems with this because it is a very risky strategy of course as you can see they can come right here and they have a wide range of uh, all of your structures that they can pop off not to mention they could actually stand over here on this corner and try to come around here and actually shoot structures down as well so please, this is a disclaimer. Be careful, this is a risky strategy. There is only a 50-50 chance of victory. Once you build down the hallway, we're going to want to build some relay towers right around this back way. Because if they cut your power off down the main hallway, you want to have some relay towers back over here to try to back you up. Another uh, problem that we will be dealing with is if they can actually come down their hallway as you can see right here and shoot structures off from this little opening here as well so this is going to be a problem place a turret right about where I'm standing or right about there one of the reasons why it's very difficult for Empire to win this map is this main hallway right here their XOs can shoot all of your relay towers and if you spend all of your money and uh, efforts trying to get down this hallway you have to put a relay tower right in the open and then try to build something right here in primary this is going to be a problem because they can just shoot everything down the hallway and it's also going to pose a problem because you have the second floor and the third floor to deal with even if you do make it to primary it's not a very good strategy right here as you can see they have plenty of space to kill everything down the, down that hallway now they can actually build a wireless repeater right there in this corner. It has just enough range for them to start building some turrets right there, maybe another turret over there, forward spawn here, and some supplies right there. I do want to stress again, this is a very risky strategy. Um, it might work, it might not, and you have to be very aggressive. So starting off, we're going to go ahead and build a relay tower, extend the reach, build a forward spawn with some supplies next to it. and then continue building out the left as I just specified. Right about this time we had to build a power generator because uh, you're going to need some power for turrets and other structures that you're going to be building when you come up the left. Here's another relay tower. This is for double redundancy. They will send engineers to try to cut off your power supply from, from the back. And as you can see, they've already done that already once, so that's why I'm actually having to build uh, a second relay tower right now. They really weren't paying attention, they kept trying to capture primary, so I went ahead and I built a forward spawn down the hallway, just like I described earlier, another relay tower. And then one more forward spawn. This allows you guys to jump into the action right away. 
and the reason why we're building up right up is we want to get right up to their front door and cut off their relay towers their excuse me their wireless repeaters right at their front door this cuts off power for them to send anything and build anything inside primary so while they're while our guys are cutting off their power and they can't build anything into primary we're able to go ahead and capture primary quite easily now the next next challenge is to hold this left side and that's going to be very difficult because all of our structures are in or completely all the way out in the open then as I said earlier again we're going to have to build some uh, like an, uh, several relay towers around behind the walls you want to do this so that way it'll uh, help your guys out uh, keeping all the structures up and if they take out the relay tower you'll still be able to get power we're still reinforcing the left side right now as you can see all my guys are having a very very difficult time and then we build uh, the basically this is going to be a sort of like our backup relays if they take out the relays in the front these relays uh, coming around here this angle will be able to try to supply power to a lot of the structures I built another forward spawn next to that opening so that way we can sneak down their tunnels as well this will help our guys out a little bit from uh, just getting pounded up in that left corner Notice all my guys are XOs shooting their wireless repeaters at their front door. So it makes it very difficult for them to build anything inside primary. Now of course we weren't able to hold primary the whole time throughout the map, but the majority of the time we were controlling primary. Now is the time to build up on the right side of the map. We go ahead and we put another forward spawn right inside, right next to primary so our guys can take it very quickly. And uh, I just lost power there and EXO snuck around the back. So to also have to deal with that, uh, the EXOs uh, had to build another uh, MG turret. And then we went back uh, trying to reinforce primary. Build a second uh, power supply right here in this corner. So as you can see, inside primary I have one turret, I have some supplies. I got enough range to go ahead and start building supplies in the forward spawn up there. Now once we had primary secured, I had to go ahead and sell those structures off eventually and build a power structure. And this is why, as you notice how the way all the relay towers have been taken out in the hallway very quickly because it's easy. They have, they have a clear shot. So to solve that problem, we're going to have to build a power uh, generator inside primary. I, I was still trying to sub, uh, reinforce the left side because we can't let them take that side. And then, here we go build our power generator this will allow us all of our structures inside primary to sit by itself we won't be so dependent on having uh, relay towers down the hallway to supply all, all the power once that's built then you can build a forward spawn you guys will be fairly protected uh, once they spawn inside primary just build a couple turrets to make sure that they have some coverage as soon as they spawn and make sure you build supplies they're going to always need supplies now this is where it gets tricky we're go we are actually going to be splitting our resources building up on the right side and the left side so that is going to be quite a bit of a challenge as you can see here, I was already building up on the right side, and we were fairly successful, but um, uh, 
the only problem here is uh, we were actually having a lot uh, all of all of our men was were having a very very hard time because um, their men were actually shooting down structures faster than we were actually making enough money as you can see right here they're just killing all the structures off and it also makes it difficult for us because since they're so close to a spawn point uh, that makes it difficult for us to do a final push the rest of the game practically went that way uh, the strategy worked pretty well but we weren't able to actually destroy their command bunker well that's it I hope this strategy works for you again this is a risky strategy 50-50 chance uh, comment like subscribe leave uh, your feedback tell me what you think thank you very much